The compulsory 14-day lockdown by the Lagos state government is already in its seventh day and realities are changing for people in different ways. Plus TV Africa's Amaka Okoye, who is in Ajegunle, brings us up to speed on how the lockdown is affecting the people in that area. It is day seven already and life seems to be going on normal here in Ajegunle. But we talked to the people to feel their pause and how this resonates with them. If you want to ask somebody to sit and say, yes, we know that they are doing it for our own life's sake. But that does not mean that we, we that the coronavirus have never heard, we die because of hunger. People are hungry. No food. They, they, they start to shout, they are uh, sharing food. In which side of uh, Lagos are they sharing the food? In Alaika here, we are not seeing anything. I'm a widow. I don't have husband. If my children do not give me, I will not eat. I also pure water. Then if I, if I cannot go and clean pure water, my children does not go to work. Where will I eat? I am a poor man. Now I'm suffering for this thing badly. He makes many, many, many people. They die by force. They love the sickness. I will lay hungry self. They kill us. Though aware of the reality of COVID-19, their worries is how to get by in the coming days during the lockdown. I, they tried a lot and they said that we should stay at home. But as we are staying at home, without not seeing anything, some people, before they heat, they used to sell pure water. Before they see money to feed their family, which is not supposed to be like that. As they said that we should stay at home, they're supposed to give us something. Even food, money, anything, we didn't say anything. The government said that made the lockdown uh, down. When they lock down, they don't give poor money. This area, they say they said money come. So used to give the poor. We don't say anything. Boys, they're the para. Women, they're the para. They say they're not going to see to Ajekule people need because they're not going to quarantine. If they're quarantine, they won't take leave. The money they take by things. Big men, they don't, they don't load their house food. They don't buy everything put for inside us. Who will not get what you want to do? One of the measures put to curb the spread of COVID-19 is physical and social distancing. But for people like Oge, who lives in the same compound with 15 other tenants, it may be completely impossible. It really can happen in Ajegule. It will be very, very difficult because asking them to stay in their houses is like say, asking them to stay outside. What do I mean? What I mean is some compounds in Ajegule, you have more than 50 tenants or 20 tenants. You have, there are some compounds you go to in Ajegule, they have, for example, 20 tenants. And maybe each family has about five children, four children. They share one toilet, one bedroom. It really can't work in Ajegule. We are left with many unanswered questions. Is the government effort good enough? What is the way forward for slum communities like Ajegunle in the face of COVID-19? For Plus TV Africa, Amaka Okoye.